evaluate the integral. So we got a complex fraction here. So we want to write this complex fraction as a sum of simpler fractions. And this is a proper fraction because degree on the top is 2, the degree on the bottom is, you say x squared and x means x3, degree 3. So we don't have to do the long division. So we write, we let this fraction x squared plus 1 over x minus 2, x minus 5 quantity squared as x minus 2 just 1 so some constant on the top plus x minus 5 is square means we need to write 2 of them x minus 5 x minus 5 quantity square and just constants so next is to determine the values of a b and c for we always multiply through by the common denominator which is this these three are just coming from this so we multiply by x minus 2 x minus 5 squared we got one two three four fractions we multiply by this multiply means multiply means on the top okay, this over one so if we multiply the first here the bottom and this one same thing that's by design cancel so we got x squared plus one when we multiply this, this goes on the top, so x minus 2, x minus 2 cancel, a times x minus 5 is square. x minus 5 cancel, one copy cancel, still one copy left, so b, x minus 2, x minus 5, x minus 5 cancel, c, x minus 2. And this is good for any value of x. Now we choose x equals some value so that we can isolate one of the constants. So choose or take x equals, if I choose 5, then 5 minus 5, 0. 5 minus 5, 0. So these two terms will be gone and we will be able to find the value of c. So choose x equals 5. What are you going to get in the left? 5 is squared, 25 plus 1, 26 equals this is 0, gone, because 0 is square is 0 times a is 0, plus because of this 0, here 5 minus 2, 3, c. So 26 equals 3, c, that means c equals 26 over 3. Okay, similarly take x equals I can see x minus 2 so we can choose x equals 2 okay and then 2 is squared 4 plus 1 5 2 minus 5 3 negative 3 negative 3 square is positive 9 9 a plus 2 minus 2 is 0, so whole thing is 0, because 0 times any number is 0, same here, 0, so 5 equals 9a, that means a equals 5 over 9. Now we want to take x equals, so we know, we already know two values, a and c, we need to know b, now we can take any other value of x, because it looks like there is no obvious choice then you can always choose not 5, not 2, but any other number and we still be able to find the last number because only one unknown. So I would take 0 for, because this is the easiest number. 0 is squared plus 1, just 1 equals 0 minus 5, negative 5. Negative 5 is squared is positive 25, 25a plus 0 minus 2 that's negative 2 times 0 minus 5, negative 5. Negative 2 times negative 5, positive 10b. So this is 10b, 0 minus 2, negative 2c. Okay, we already have a and c. Let's plug in a and c. So 
So 1 equals 25 times A, A is 5 over 9 plus 10B to be determined minus 2C minus 2 times C, C is 26 over 3. 25 times 5, when we multiply, we multiply the tops. Uh, is there any common factor? No, no. Okay, it would be not an easy algebra. Let's do it. 1 through 1 equals 25 times 5. 125 over 9 plus 10b minus 2 times 2652 over 3. Now 10b equals, we're going to take this term to the left side, okay? So let's do it. Let me move up a little bit here. So this uh, subtract 125 over 9 from both sides, add 252 over 3. So this is 1 minus 125 over 9, add plus 52 over 3 equals 10b okay this number whatever that fraction divide by 10 is our b so let me add this so we need to make common denominator 3 9 is 9 so we're going to multiply this by 9 over 9 okay 9 over 9 and we multiply 3 over 3 so that we have common denominator of 9 so let me move a little bit down here so 9 times 1 is 9 minus 125 plus 2, 6, 156 equals 10b. Okay. And this, when we isolate b, 10 goes on the bottom. So 9 minus 125 plus 156, 156 plus 9 minus 125, divide by 10 times 9, 90. So this implies b equals... So these three numbers combined to 40 divided by 9 times 10 and 10 goes 40 4 times 4 over 9. So thus okay, the integral if we go up we can see so this integral is a over this integral is now a over x minus 2 where a is found to be 5 over 9 b is 4 over 9 and C is 26 over 3. Okay, you want to write there, but uh, I can just erase here and go here. So thus, so I'm going to go up and just finish the problem here. Okay, so I have the value of A, B, and C. Okay, and so let me write a a is 5 over 9 and b b is 4 over 9 and c is 26 over 3. Now I want to erase everything. So antiderivative of this complex fraction is antiderivative of these three simpler fractions. So I can integral I can delete this as well so this integral is in fact antiderivative of this so we got three simpler fractions so 5 over uh, let me separate in, into 3 so 5 over 9 is a constant we can pull outside so 5 over 9 1 over x minus 2 dx that's the first because the this dx is for all three plus 4 over 9 can be pulled outside then that's 1 over x minus 5 similarly 26 over 3 outside 1 over x minus 5 is square dx okay derivative of x minus 2 is 1 that means this integral is simply natural log of bottom 4 over 9 same thing derivative of x minus 5 is 1 so anti-derivative of this fraction is simply natural log of bottom plus here okay that's not the case anymore because we got a square 
okay so we can use u substitution our u is x minus 5 but le let me show you in this way uh, this is 1 over we can get rid of this fraction just writing x minus 5 raised to negative 2 and it's a little bit of u substitution so let me copy this here you don't have to combine we can combine these two natural logs but not really needed here uh, our u is x minus 5 okay when we do u substitution and derivative of x minus 5 is 1 so this is du this is 1 du so this is pretty much u to the negative 2 du and we know how to integrate this from the power rule u raised to negative 2 plus 1 negative 1 divided by negative 1 that is negative 1 in the front u to the negative 1 is 1 over u so this one is we can simply write negative 1 over x minus 5 that's it and plus c in fact we get one constant one constant one constant and we just combine as one okay i just did u substitution here so we can combine these two or because this one does not look good when we write negative here okay so the final answer is then 5 over 9 natural log of x minus 2 plus 4 over 9 natural log of x minus 5 when we multiply this negative here 26 over 3 x minus 5 and plus c final.